Our Someone to Know has studied, taught, and created art in the U.S. for decades. He spent many years here in the Sierra Nevada as well, retracing the steps of thousands of Chinese laborers who built the Transcontinental Railroad. Yeah, his work is now on display at the Nevada Museum of Art Marina if you want to check it out. Tonight, though, you get to meet Z Lin. <laughs> Locomotives, fanfare, and fuss to celebrate the East meeting the West with the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad 150 years ago this month. You know, this is a kind of a history we need to examine carefully. Because if you look carefully at the images from the famous Golden Spike ceremony, you won't see any of the tens of thousands of laborers who helped build it. A Chinese worker was excluded from my point of view, from the celebration. Chinese-born artist and professor Zi Lin wants to make sure that workforce, 90% of whom were Chinese, are never forgotten. Stanford University launched a project for seven years and cannot locate a single person. The names that could be found on old payroll records are of contractors and gang bosses, says Zi Lin, and he carefully painted each one on the rocks that form the track ballast. You can read them on this composition art piece. In top portion is the video, bottom half is the painted. Zi Lin's mixed media exhibit is on display at the Nevada Museum of Art. That piece, that is the, the cliff by the Donut Summit. Donner Summit and other parts of the Sierra Nevada where workers hand carved through the mountains to make way for the railway. It's all depicted in Lynn's art. Where they work and uh, where they sleep, this is where they base and they wash their clothes. Z Lin spent time in our mountain range studying and recreating the way of life and death for the Chinese laborers 150 years ago. And he would like people to recognize one thing. The history of America, in part, at least in part, written by Chinese contributions. And Z Lin's artwork will be on display at the Nevada Museum of Art in Reno through November 10th. With someone to know, Andy Guevara, 2 News.